brash, boisterous and a big fan of his own abilities. Sam Dastjeri made more enemas in four years in the Senate than many colleagues do over decades. But it was his friendships which brought him down. And that means his story of political decline is much bigger than the unhappy fate of an ebullient young senator. It is about whether some foreign influences on our political system are more offensive than others. Specifically, that Chinese intrusions are worse than those by others. And this question would not have risen with the force it has were it not for Senator Das Jeri's friendship with Huang Xi Agmu, the Chinese businessman who lives here and has contributed money to both the Liberal and Labour parties. As a Labour Party functionary and a senator, Sam Das Jeri was an admirer of Mr. Huang and felt free to tap him for money when it suited. It was a cosy relationship for both men. They were so close Senator Das Jeri wanted to speak to him personally one final time to tell him he could no longer speak to him personally because of the controversy around a press conference Mr. Huang had organized for Chinese journalists, and at which the labor man had spoken in favor of Beijing's South China Sea policy in contradiction of his parties. It is suggested by some that not only did Senator Das Jeri boast of his friendship with Mr. Huang, he skyped to others he had advised him to park his mobile phone inside while they had that final chat outside his house. We don't know his version of that front yard farewell because Senator Das Jeri has declined to comment directly on it. Sam Das Jeri made a lot of enemas while he was in Parliament, but it was his friendships that undid him. Picture, Perry Duffin slash AAP source, AAP. Among his enemas was the government leadership, although some had a sneaking affection for the Labour man. But he became a target too juicy to ignore and ministers lined up to accuse him of exaggerated offences just short of treason. Immigration Minister Peter Dutto went further and claimed, with no evidence, Senator Das Jeri was a double agent. Presumably he meant he was working for both the Australian and Chinese authorities. The more the government piled into Shanghai Sam or Sichuan Sam, the more the hostility seemed aimed at Chinese rather than him. Beijing took it that way and made complaints about Cold War rhetoric. A domestic consequence was that some of the voters in the Belog by-election, a seat with close to 70,000 residents born in mainland China or Hong Kong, might have considered this a racist slight against them. It came in parallel formation with government plans to restrict foreign donations and certain commercial relationships. In both cases the Chinese were central to the debate. A significant proportion of the Belog electorate might not have the command of English to discern the political campaign against Das Jeri and Labour from any implied racism. These people live in Australia because it is a better place to reside than is China. But as well as being Australians they are faithful to their Chinese roots. It could be that in bringing down a Labour senator the government has created another problem for itself in the by-election.